Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, this ain't no clickbait. What's up, y'all? It's Tasha, and I'm back with another video. Before I get into the video, I want to ask you guys to please thumbs this video up if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe if you are new here. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the family. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today I am doing a homemade spaghetti and meatball mukbang, period. I have fresh vegetables here that I am not going to eat. This is just for look. Um, that's it. I was trying to do presentation, y'all. Anyway, let's get into the video. Ooh. Stephanie over there laughing at me, y'all. Oh, I'm fake back. Hi. Okay, so I got some garlic here. Oh, a carrot. Some zucchini and an onion because I wanted it to look like more than just this little bowl and the garlic bread. So that's why I did that, y'all. I did this myself. I thought of it myself. If you guys want to take some tips from me. What? You know, hit me up in the DM. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Anywho, uh, I made this. The only thing that's not homemade are the meatballs. Um, I got these. I bought these meatballs. She bought the balls. Are those Ralph's balls? No, they're not Ralph's. I forgot the brand. But anywho, these are some good little meatballs. Anyway, um, but I made it with three cans of tomato sauce, tomato paste, and blah, blah, blah. Other stuff. I didn't have any red wine. So anyway, I'm about to take my first bite. I'm going to give y'all the first bite. Mm. I usually um, make it a lot saucier, but um, due to the virus going around, I had the, that was not, wasn't that many cans of tomato sauce. I'm also going to do a little bit of a and a you guys. I'm going to ask a couple questions from the Q&A since I didn't have a topic. Oh, I'm tripping. I almost forgot. My fellow Jamaicans. I'm not Jamaican, but I could be. Who knows? Nobody knows. I don't really know where I'm from. Okay, now I'm gonna really take the first bite, y'all. It's hot. Mm-hmm. I wasn't prepared. I didn't have any napkins, but of course. The wife. Um, y'all, y'all gonna see my hair like this for a while. This is a protective style, and I'm trying to protect my hair and make it grow. I'm trying to make it move. Mm. Woo! Y'all, if y'all don't know, spaghetti is my favorite food. Mm-mm-mm. Like over everything i do love hot dogs and beans all right i'm gonna start the q a early though because hmm, i want to answer a couple questions me and stephanie gotta go honestly i don't know if somebody asked me mm, to do a spaghetti mukbang it's for you bobby i'm gonna take another bite before i start my neighbors were being quiet. I swear they were being. Y'all probably can't hear them. I'm not sure if you can or not, but I love them. I actually love our neighbors, right, babe? Oh, she can't hear me. She's editing. Our neighbors are so dope, y'all. I just got to say that. The ones that live right upstairs from the four females. They're just so sweet, you know? They're some really nice girls. Young ladies, I mean. Okay. I'm about to ask a first question after this bite. So good. Bye, Felicia. I know a lot of you guys already know this, but you know, we got new subscribers and answer some of these questions for them. Me and Stephanie are gonna do a whole QA video, but this is just some 
Is Elijah adopted or no? No. Elijah is not ado adopted. Elijah is our son, mine biologically. Stephanie came to his life when he was, I think, six, seven, or something like that. I'm sorry, that was from Wainisha Bergman. Ashley Grace asked, can or will you guys consider doing the kissing challenge or 25 different ways of kissing? Just curious, and I think it would be interesting to see. <laughs> I bet. It'd be very interesting, but no. Um, definitely not gonna do a kissing thing I don't, I just don't want to display kissing all over Stephanie on the videos. No, no. Now live, you know, on lives we turn up sometimes. We don't do nothing like that, but we be doing too much. Not on the video. Let me see. What is next? Angie Papa Black says, hi, I was wondering what are your jobs? Just curiosity. Outside of YouTube, Stephanie, Stephanie and I do taxes, financial consulting, which is, she does the financial consulting, and I, I haven't fixed the computer in a while, so I'm not even going to say that anymore, even though I do have, that is a profession of mine, computer networking. Mmm. Dorian Harris asked, whenever you guys met, did Tasha's son like Steph? Yes, he absolutely did like her. That's a big reason, that's not bigger than what I got with her, but that was the reason why we were able to stay together and be together because if my son does not like you or you guys don't get along, it's just not gonna work. Even if I like you, it's not gonna work. You have to, I don't know, things have to work. And if they don't, it's just gonna be difficult. But Elijah, he liked her. He actually told me. He voiced, he, my sister actually came in the house, came to my house and told me that Elijah and my niece really liked Stephanie. Mm. Mm-mm. Mm. -mm. mm. I have to let Stephanie answer that one. Stephanie over here answering the questions, y'all. I'm trying to ask them. She over here answering some of them. Oh, I forgot it was a... Um, I hope I'm shouting y'all out. If not, I'm sorry. I'm horrible. Um, okay. I'll answer this one. Breakfast Foods Welcome says, um, I'll start with saying, I think you guys have a really good on-camera presence from making eye contact, asking engaging questions, and even offering the viewers the first bite. What was it like to develop this camera presence? Is it difficult? Presence. Is it difficult to essentially hold a one-sided conversation? I think in the beginning it was, for me at least especially um, on a solo because Stephanie was not there. But let me tell you what it is. Hold on, let me, let me take this bite. I don't need all that food on my chin, y'all. Y'all know how I don't, I don't play. Mm -mm -mm. So, Initially, it was hard for me engaging, kind of, I think, on a solo. But I'm very social. Like, um, I'm social. So, once I got to know just at least some of the subscribers, then I felt like I was talking to somebody instead of just talking to a camera and talking to people who didn't know me. Um, I think for anybody, once you get comfortable with your subscribers enough, you, I could be wrong though. I think if you don't engage with your subscribers at all, um, then maybe it's hard to um, feel comfortable or natural in front of the camera because you just talking to nobody. 
But if you know that you're talking to somebody, you feel like you're talking to somebody, then it's easy. Like, I know I'm talking to y'all right now. I know that you guys are going to see this, and I know you guys are going to respond, and I know that I'm going to respond back. Excuse me. And a lot of you guys, I kind of know, you know, it takes a while to get to know, you know, the peop the subscribers that we know. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of y'all. So, that's basically it. Once you get comfortable, you, you good. Um, Mo M said, how old are y'all? Old enough. KK Triple X says, hey ladies, I was wondering when you both decided to be together forever, how did you know that each other was the person you couldn't or rather didn't want to live without? I struggle with going with my heart and not my head. This leads to a lot of confusion and not really knowing who I am or what I want. Um, I'm going to say this because I remember being in a place where I struggle with my heart and my head. Now, I was going to let Stephanie answer this with me, but I feel like I was more of an indecisive, more of one who would think I wanted something one day, but the next day or two days later, I wanted something different, didn't know. what. It, you know, Stephanie was more, she always knew what she wanted, you know. And sometimes that leads to um, people thinking you're lying. Like, I would even think I was lying sometimes because I would say something one day, I would feel something one day. And then a few days later, or a week later, feel something else. So I was really confused. And I'm, I used to say this thing all the time that there was an epic battle between my heart and my head. All the time. My heart and my brain. Because it didn't match up. But um, what I think what it was, was just emotional maturity. I had so many things um, that had bothered me from just life in general past relationships or whatever the case i didn't take it into my new relationship as far as the things that the last person did but just as a whole i think it kind of made me feel like mm -mm, females be in general i put the i put women in a general population like they are in general just they just want to be in love that's how i feel and i know i'm a female too but i don't feel like that i don't feel certain ways so i felt like oh females really just want to be in love it doesn't even matter who they're with they just want to be married they just want to be in a relationship they just want to say they have somebody they just want to be cuddling it, it doesn't matter who it is and i used to try to explain that to stephanie after we were already together and you know in love or whatever i used to tell her that i didn't believe that she really loved me not not in the well y'all know what i'm saying not at the point that i was telling her but before it took me so long to realize that she really loved me and not because I thought she was being fake. I just thought that, okay, but you're a woman. You'll love anybody. You'll love anybody who comes along that's, that's you know, around because y'all just want to be in relationships. And that's totally untrue. And if you feel like that, then that's going to make you not really want, not really develop strong feelings for anybody because you feel like, well, they don't really love me anyway. It's not really true. You know, I want somebody who's really going to love me. Um, it took me to mature and realize that even if some women are like that i found out that stephanie wasn't that way and in order when i found out that she wasn't that way i was able to fall in love with her i i, I definitely know that it was like a wall had been torn down when i finally believed that she loved me and she just was for me and she wasn't about to be disrespected because if you allow somebody to do so much to you and you keep taking them back. I don't know if you really love them or even love yourself. It's just something. You know, you got you got something's wrong. Something's wrong. So it's not necessarily that you love them, especially if you're the type of person that's always going to let everybody do things to you. Like if you get with a man and he cheats on you, you stay with him and then you get with the next man and he cheats on you, you stay with him. You don't really love these men. It's something within you. It's something that's not right with you. Um but anyway, emotional maturity, that's what happened. I I learned that everybody was different and you know yeah that's that's it um all right y'all i know this video was short but we do still have taxes to do we still still have work and we gotta go we got a lot going on we got a lot of vlogs coming up we got buck bonds coming up we're trying to do some challenges we're trying to do this we're trying to try and do everything for this coronavirus stuff so you guys are entertained um i'm over here like real hot trying to act like i'm not so i'm gonna go um if you like the video give it a thumbs up um, you guys, we got a vlog channel, Steph and Tasha Vlogs. Link is in the description below. Set your notifications to all so you be reminded of daily uploads, live streams, premieres. Until next time, bye Felicia.